Okay, let's just browse for file. Okay, so basically here I have a photo, which is image.png. As you see, it's working now. Let's try to encrypt the file. So we're gonna double click on the image button the image.png and we're gonna enter the key. The key should be a string um, of 16 characters. So I'm, I'm gonna type key as basil tech one two three four five six. Alright so I'm gonna click it now. Okay so as you see the file is encrypted it can be viewed. Let's decrypt it. It's now decrypted. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to create a file encryption program in C Sharp that uses Treble Biz encryption technique. So first of all, open up your Visual Studio and create a new project. We will need to add two labels, two text boxes, and three buttons. Alright, so this is the final layout of our form. Now we will create a class for the treble des file encryption and decryption. So right click on the project name and add a new class. I'm gonna name it treble des. So first of all we wanna include a library. So we're gonna type using system dot security dot cryptography because this library contains the treble biz implementation okay so let's make this class public so public class treble biz and we're gonna create a treble biz object so private treble biz crypto service provider biz equals new treble biz crypto service provider Now we're going to make the uh, constructor of this class public is, and it's going to take the key of encryption string key so it's now going to set the key of the des des.key equals udxa Encoding dot UCF eight dot get bytes and we provide our key des dot mode we're gonna select the mode of operation of des we're gonna use the uh, ECB mode which is electronic code book so cipher mode dot ECB which stands for electronic code book and now we're gonna set the padding of the devs the padding mode to pkcs7 okay now we're gonna create the function that encrypts the file so public encrypt file so this is this is a public void encrypt file. It takes the file path so string file path. We're now gonna create an array of bytes. So byte array bytes is equal to file dot file dot read all bytes from file path so basically we are reading the the uh, the file that we want to encrypt okay so we should have included using system.io to use the file now we are going to create the encrypted bytes. Okay, so we are going to encrypt the bytes that we have just read. So we're going to create a new byte array. So byte e bytes, which stands for encrypted bytes, equals this dot 
create encryptor the transform final block and it takes the bytes that we want to encrypt and then an offset zero which we say start from the first um, from the first byte in the array and then the length of the array so bytes the length so now we want to write the encrypted bytes to our file so file dot write all bytes file path and then our encrypted bytes ebytes and here we go so this is the encryption function let's now create the decryption function so public void decrypt file and it's gonna take the string file path so as we've done before we are gonna create the byte array bytes equal to file the read all bytes from file path and then by it let's just call it d bytes which stands for decrypted bytes equals to this dot create decryptor dot transform final block and it's gonna take the bytes the zero offset and then the length of the bytes array so bytes dot length and again we're gonna write all the bytes to our file so file dot write bytes file path and then the d bytes which is our decrypted bytes all right so we are done with our um, turtle list class let's now move on to a form okay so what we're going to want to do now is create the code for the browse file we want to double click on this browse button we're going to type open file dialog od equals new open file dialog od dot filter equals all files and then the pipe and asterisk so this basically means that we are selecting all the files with all file extensions od the file name equals and then just in the string all right so if od the show dialog equal equals dialog result dot okay so basically we have just selected a file then text box one the text equals od dot file name so basically the text one the the text one text box is this text box for the file okay so we want to now create the code for the encrypt button so we want to double click on the encrypt and then in a try catch block we're gonna say triple this which is just our class that we've just created okay name the the I'm gonna name the object T this equals new triple this and then we're gonna provide our string the key so it's in text box to the text so now we have our triple this um, object. We are gonna call the encrypt function. So tdis dot encrypt file, and then we're gonna provide the path, which is in text box one dot text, and then we're gonna call gc dot collect. So basically, this is the garbage collector to free our RAM from the file that we're trying to encrypt after we finish the encryption. For sure. Okay, so in the catch block, we're gonna catch any exception ex, and then we're gonna display the message in the message box. So message box the oops message box the show, and then ex dot message. 
All right, so we're done with the uh, encrypt function, so we're, we're going to move to the decrypt function. So we're going to double click on our decrypt button, and then we're, we're going to just copy all of this code from the encrypt, and we're going to paste it in the decrypt, but we're going to change the call to the decrypt file function, and then we're good. Alright, so we're done. Let's give this a try. We're gonna start our program. Okay, let's just browse for file. Okay, so basically here I have a photo, which is image.png. As you see, it's working now. Let's try to encrypt the file. So we're gonna double click on the image bot, the image.png. And we're going to enter the key. The key should be a string um, of 16 characters. So I'm, I'm going to type the key as Basil Tech 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, so I'm going to it now. Okay, so as you see, the file is encrypted. It can be viewed. Let's decrypt it. It's now decrypted. Let's try this um, music file. I'm gonna open it for you. Well, as you see, it's working. Let's try to encrypt it using the same key. Encrypt. Alright, so we're done. We're gonna double click on it. It's no longer working. Alright, let's decrypt it. working again. So that's it guys for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.